I want to talk about the, uh, the the CG aspect of it with the, the kaiju, the robot, and stuff yeah. like that. What, talk, talk about the technicality of working and using your own imagination to bring that, to, that stuff to life. Yeah. They built the robot. They built it like half of it. The bottom part. They built the feet and like the, the shins, basically. And then they built the head and the chest. Um, and the rest was CGI'd. But they put it up like 60 feet. They put the head 60 feet in the air in this soundstage in Chicago. So <laughs> so we're walking up 60 steps with a full camera rig um, trapped into this tiny head. I, uh, they made it a little bit harder, I think, uh, than it needed to be. If I had notes for production for season two, it'd be like, put this on the ground. Um, yeah, yeah, we can, we can play pretend. It's all right. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but acting out the... Um, like the physical motions of the stomper robot running and walking, and and those those episodes were split up with different directors, which is also interesting. So the different directors had different takes on how to act that action within the head. Uh, so we did it once with one director, and another director came in with a completely different take, um, both successful but both very different. Um, so that speaks to you know. Directors don't get enough respect, I think, in television because they're like, it's really about the writers and the creators and the actors who are there all the time. And then a director will come in, do an episode, and then leave. So you're sort of a guest. Um, but these directors were so great in like jumping in and being part of this world. Um, but yeah, the Stomper Robot was, those were long days, uh, 60 feet up in the air uh, with all these stunt guys shaking it so it looked like we were walking on it. But, it's a great way to make a living. It looks cool.